My name is Julie Boyd and this is an e-textiles tutorial for Kitronic. This tutorial looks at some of the different ways that you might insert an LED into your fabric. The easiest method is to cut a hole in your fabric, here you can see we've got a hole, that the LED then pokes through. The only problem with that is that if you have a fabric that frays, that is not going to give you a particularly good quality finish on your product. So that would be limited to things like um, felt, PVC or any other fabric that doesn't fray. The second method that's quite easy is to um, put the, the circuit underneath the fabric. So if I just lay my fabric on top of the LED here and just switch it on, and you can see the LED shining through the fabric um, and it will shine through even quite thick fabric so here I've got some fleece and you can see that it still shines through. If you want to be able to see the bead of the LED on the fabric itself um, and often this will give you a, a brighter light as well um, we can have the LED coming through to the right side in different ways and here you can see it comes through to the right side by being inserted into a seam. So if we just look on the back, you can see a gap has been left. When the seam has been joined, a gap has been left um, of about half a centimetre into which the um, LED um, slots through. Here, the method that's been used to um, uh, get the LED through to the right side of the fabric um, uh, is an eyelet and a small buttonhole. So again, the um, uh, circuit is attached to the back and this, these two methods um, neaten off uh, the area um, where the LED is going through the fabric. On this sample, the um, hole that the um, legs in the LED make in the fabric is hidden by a button. So the um, legs are poked through the uh, button, um, thrown to the back of the fabric where they are stitched into place. These then are just some of the methods that you might use and there are others that you might be able to come up with yourself. Um, the key thing is um, choosing the right method for the fabric that you're using and for the product um, and for the quality of finish that you want on your item. Something else to consider when you are um, thinking about how you're going to get your LED through to the right side of your fabric is whether you will attach it to the actual fabric itself or whether you will attach it to um, a backing fabric that goes on the inside. If you are attaching the circuit directly to the fabric the fabric needs to be thick enough um, to be able to take the stitches so that they don't sit on the right side so that you can't actually see them. So for example on uh, this sample here the um, circuit is attached to the fabric but it's been inserted into the seam um, um, so that the circuit itself or the, the components sit on this seam here. On the other samples the circuit is attached to um, a piece of backing fabric, in this case calico, um, that sits underneath. So all the stitches are uh, stitched on the, um, the calico itself um, um, as opposed to being stitched um, on the fabric. Again, whether you choose to stitch directly onto your fabric or to stitch onto a backing layer will depend on um, the finished appearance that you want, whether your fabric will accept um, uh, the stitches being stitched directly onto the surface. 